Hey everybody, this is Miss Barnacle again. I'm back with another module. Our newest one now we're going to talk about is order of operations using decimals. Okay, so first we have to remember our order of operations. If you look on the screen, the order of operations says, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Remember, that's the phrase that we're going to use. And P stands for parentheses, exponents, multiplying and dividing. And remember, that's done in order from left to right as it appears in the problem. And then you have adding and subtracting left to right as it appears in the problem. Okay, so I'm going to go to the board. I'm going to work a couple of examples for you. And here we go. So this first example has three different pieces and it's got two operations. I see a subtraction and I see a multiplication. So what we want to do is the order of operations says we do multiply and divide from left to right. We do that first. So we're going to do this first. This is multiplication. So we're going to write six decimal zero two. That's six and two hundredths. And we're going to multiply that by two and one tenth. Okay, so remember one of the previous modules, when you do your multiplication of decimals, all you do is multiply like a normal problem, and then when you're done, that's when you worry about where your decimal goes. So let's multiply. 1 times 2 is 2. 1 times 0 is 0. 1 times 6 is 6. Put your placeholder. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 0 is 0. 2 times 6 is 12. Okay? Do the addition next. 2 plus 0 is 2. 0 plus 4 is 4. 6 plus 0 is 6. And the other two you just bring down. Now I'm going to worry about my decimal. Um, in my first number, I have two digits behind the decimal. In the second number, I have one digit behind the decimal. So I have a total of three digits. that need decimal places. So I start here at the end of my number and I move to the left one, two, three places, okay? And that's where my decimal ends up. So now I have 60 minus this big number, which I'm gonna write 12 and 642 thousandths. Let's Okay, so that's what I'm fixing to subtract. Now, when we did subtracting decimals, you have to remember that this is the whole number 60, like $60. And so in order to subtract a decimal from a whole number, we need to add decimal places to this. So I'm going to erase this a little bit so that I can add my decimal places. That would be 60 and I need one, two, three numbers. And then I'm going to subtract, and I'm blocking that off for you, subtract 12 and 642 thousandths. That's what I'm going to do. Now, when we're subtracting from zeros, remember that this first zero, when we borrowed, we made him a 10. But what happens to all the rest of them? They become nines. So that becomes a 9, that becomes a 9, that becomes a 9, and the 6 way down here becomes a 5 because remember, you have to borrow from everybody and keep going until you don't need to borrow anymore. So once we've done all the borrowing we need to, remember that our decimals, when you add and subtract, must line up. So I'm just dropping my decimal into my answer so it's already there. And now I just subtract. 10 take away 2 is 8. 9 take away 4 is 5. 9 take away 6 is 3. Oh, my decimal. Let me make it a little further down. 9 take away 2 is 7. 5 take away 1 is 4. So this, 47 and 358 thousandths, this is my final answer. Okay? I'm going to write it. Well, I'll just leave it there. And now we're going to go over here and we're going to do our other problem. I'll change colors. All 
All right, so now I want to look at this one and say, okay, um, I see a subtraction, a division, and the addition. So order of operation says multiply and divide comes first, so I got to do that first. Um, this problem says 4.2, 4 and 2 tenths divided by 2.1, 2 and 1 tenth. So remember, when you're doing division, you have to have a whole number on the outside. So if I do 2 and 1 tenth, and I want to divide that into 4 and 2 tenths. Remember what you have to do to get the decimal out of there. You move it one space to the right. And if you move it one space on the outside, you move it one space on the inside. Okay? So now I'm, I'm going to divide 21 into 42. That's what I'm fixing to do now. So my decimal moved to the end of this number and it moved to the end of that number. So now I say, how many times does 21 divide into 42? Well, it goes in there twice. So that comes out even. So 2 is my answer for that area. Okay? So now what I'm going to do, this is a 2, so I'm going to draw a line through here and put 2 there. Okay? So once I put 2 there, now I can basically redo my problem. I have 7.8, which is 7 and 8 tenths, minus the whole number 2, plus 9.2, 9 and 2 tenths. So what you have to do is order of operations says left to right. I say subtraction first. So that's what I'm going to do first. I have 7 and 8 tenths, and I'm going to take away 2. Now remember that 2 is a whole number, so that's like saying $2 or 2 and 0 tenths. So when you do this, make sure your decimal lines up, and then you can just subtract 5 and that's 8. So it's 5 and 8 tenths. And now I have one step left. 5 and 8 tenths is now going to be added to 9 and 2 tenths. So that's the last thing I'm going to do. So 2 plus 8 is 10. My decimal stays, it drops down because it's addition. So that would be 9 plus 1 makes 10, 10 plus 5 makes 15. So that comes out to be a nice round number, 15 and 0 tenths, which is the same thing as just the number 15. They both mean the same thing, okay? All right, so that was our lesson on order of operations with decimals, and we only have a couple of more things to talk about with decimals and then moving on to something new.